Clay Richards joins me now. He got it right. Didn't I know. He? Now, how was the whole experience? Because I cannot believe, after all these years that you've been with Steps, you still get nervous and yep. a little bit self conscious. So you were hidden. Yeah. With knitting. Did that help? Do you know what? Before I did it, I thought, this is my absolute dream come true. Yes. I'm going to get to sing songs and no one can see me and it's, I'm just going to absolutely love it. But I, don't, I didn't take into account just quite how heavy and how hot it was going to be. Right. In there. That, you have got a hot costume yeah. there, clear. It's, it's, I mean, it's wool. It's actual it's wool. It's wool and you know what it's like singing in a wooly jumper? Nobody really wants to do yeah. that. Ah, yeah, so, so that was a little bit hot and uncomfortable. Yeah, and it was apparently, I think it weighed something like 20 kilos. Good grief, you sweating. Uh, yeah. Glowing. I was. I had ice packs kind of all stuck <laughs> around my body just to try and, and someone come <laughs> with a fan and oh, kind of geez. go underneath with a fan in the now, break. Did you choose knitting or do you kind of get given your costume? I love it. It's, it's so a cracker, much. isn't it's it? It's so it's, good. It's fantastic. The costumes are brilliant, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. It's, um, we, you get kind of given options. Oh, okay. And I, I knew that I wanted to be something kind of totally covered. Yes, and, and quite funny. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. fun and something yeah. really crazy, I suppose. So I, I knew I didn't want to be anything beautiful or, or, or kind of, right. you know, that felt like a costume for me, yeah. I suppose. So, yeah. yeah, so I did choose it and it's quite, you know, I can't knit to save my life, but I do love a craft, so I thought it was quite... It works. It works beautifully. It yes. really does. Um, <laughs> did you try to change your voice or anything? Because that's a very difficult thing to do if, you, if that's your job, which is yeah. what you do. I... I did for the first show, right. and it was quite a different song for me. It was really contemporary, kind of very modern, right. um, a Becky Hill song. Mm. And, and I tried to kind of put on this country <laughs> voice, which it kind of worked because they didn't get me the first week. Sure. But, um, yeah, after that first performance, where well, I really went for it as well, and by the end of it, I couldn't breathe, so I thought, Do you know what, I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm just going to stand, I'm going to sing, and if they get me, they get me. And a lot of people did. Your yeah. wee girl was not fooled. <laughs> I know, she was Not wasn't. fooled at all. She said, that's my mum in there. I hadn't even sung a note. <laughs> did she just know it was you? Uh, she's, the advert came on the TV just before <laughs> Christmas, and she just went, that's you, you're on The Masked Singer. <gasps> How did she know that? Don't be so ridiculous. I, th I think she just... I, I remember saying once, if I ever did it, I'd, I'd love to be a giant pom-pom. Ah, and she obviously right, so that is just, almost yeah, like a giant pom-pom. It's <laughs> such... But, but great fun. Great fun to do. It is amazing. I mean, the whole... The whole show is just incredible. The way backstage, the whole... It, it's so secretive. You don't... You never come so across anybody else. So you don't see else. anybody? You don't, no. you don't see other contestants? No. So I st I'm still playing along, cos I am... A so you don't know? You, no. don't, you don't know who the other ones are? I don't know who are. anybody is. You never come... Apart from when the... After your performance, you never come in contact with the judges. It's... You, you're masked up the whole time. Wow. So you're just in yeah. this sort of little, like little bubble yeah and you're in your dressing room and you, when you're in your dressing room you can take your stuff off but then you the minute you leave your gloves you can't <laughs> show anything it's Not amazing no i suppose that you couldn't and you know in case you had like maybe a tattoo or yeah. something like that, that anything. people would know who it was they think about but the everything. thing is you don't want to spoil it we don't we don't want no. to know i mean we, we do but at the same time it's that's part of the fun isn't it that's, Absolutely. that's really really part of the fun She joins me now. Da da! <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Oh, it's so nice. Look at the. You're tiny. You're so tiny. Oh, have a seat. Thank it's so lovely much. to see you. Huge congratulations. Thank you. I am in awe, of course. <laughs> not your first time at the pool. It's not, no. Uh, really privileged to be able to go back. A really incredible place. Uh, not going to lie, I didn't feel that lucky when I was doing the trip itself I because it's difficult at the time, yes. but an amazing place to be. <laughs> but astonishing that you're on your own. And I just wonder, I mean, how, how many hours a day were you skiing by yourself? So for the first part, uh, until I got to the pole, about 13 to 15 hours a day. Wow. Um, and then I increased that to 20 to 24 hour days. Um, so pretty long days. Incredible. What was the, I mean, what were the conditions like? Because we saw a little bit of yeah, it. Yeah. I found it really tough. I found it a lot tougher this year than I did last year. And it was just uh, very, very windy at the start, um, which just makes admin and things a lot harder. It just makes it feel a lot colder as well. Admin? And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you oh, know, putting the, tent, putting the tent up. And... Right. 
getting the sleeping bag up, just everything, you know, um, breaks to get your food and stuff, everything just becomes a lot tougher. Of course. And, um, and it was just very cold. And then on the days that were a bit calmer, um, I was kind of fighting against soft snow, um, which made my uh, lovely 120 kilo pork feel a little bit... Uh... Oh, so you're pulling all of that? With, <laughs> yes. with, which has got everything on it? All, all my kit, but, yeah. I mean, physically, you're astonishing, right? <laughs> but mentally, you must be so, so strong. On your own, there's nobody to, there's nobody to say, oh, this is amazing, oh, this is terrible, or let's keep yeah. going. It's just you. Mentally, it's it's a tough challenge. It really is. And, you know, there were times that were really, really hard and I just had to take it a step at a time. And, uh, you know, it can be like a mental prison, like this thing you can't get away from. Um, and I'd look at, you know, the logos on my pork. I would listen to voice notes from my family to try and help me. And I think the why is really important. And in any tough moment that we face, you know, what, why are you doing it? Yeah. Like that deep, like dig deep down. And I think everybody is capable. I mean, you know, and it was hard. It really was. But if you can do one day of something, there's no reason you can't do two. If you can do two, you right. feel weak. You okay. can do... And it's like one foot in front of 100%, the other. You've was. got unfinished business. <laughs> Even though you did this, it's record breaking. It's astonishing achievement. It's amazing. Yes, yeah. You still, you're like, oh, I didn't quite do what I want to do. Yes, yeah. Yes. That is true. Um, I, I'm glad I kept going. Um, I 100%, I didn't meet the end goal, the aim, which was to do the crossing. And, and that was tough mentally, knowing at a point that actually I'm not going to make it there in time. And but it's brave to know that. It, it is. That's but very brave and very sensible, actually. Yeah. Just to know and just to be able to deal with that. And I think, you know, 100% I was disappointed I didn't make that end, you know, it was, it was there and I really wanted it and I worked hard, but actually I'm so glad I kept going and I'm, I feel like that's a message in itself, you know, if you don't work hard, if you don't meet that aim or goal, whatever it is you want to achieve, it's okay to change that and adapt. Utterly. Broke. Well done. And you have given No Gordon her place, the two of you. Thank you. Which I think had to be done. That's Don't what you? we wanted to do, really, wasn't yeah. it? We wanted to do her justice. Well, yeah. you really have. Thank you. It's fantastic. I mean, I remember her vividly. I remember, you know, yeah. doing my homework and watching it. And Crossroads yeah. was a big deal. And I think a lot of people have forgotten about it. You know, they've forgotten about Crossroads, and that's a shame. It slipped out the memory somehow. Yeah. yeah, it didn't... It's an odd show. It never quite made sense. Oh, well, it didn't make any sense at no. all. No, so it's kind of been forgotten. <laughs> no one knew what a motel was. No. We well, don't have motels. No. I know. And it was about a motel. That was the bizarre thing. But somehow, it really worked. Uh, uh, yes, in its time, it was well, glorious. It, it was loved. And it was, and people loved to, to criticise it. But nevertheless, 15 million people watched it every night. Million. That is astonishing. And did you, did you not give a script to them at one point? Was that not I your did, first one? I was 23 win? years old. They advertised for writers. I typed one out on an old-fashioned typewriter, sent it off. They invited me up, showed me around the sets. I got very, very close. They said, go and write a proper trial script. Yeah. I wrote it, I sent it off, and then the programme was axed. Oh, no. Like, five days later. Oh, no. So I, ne I never knew whether I would have actually got a job or not. Of course but I But thank God they got axed, yes. because I feel, because it got axed, this is his ultimate revenge. Oh, it totally is. It yes. is. It yes. really is. And what a woman she was. I mean, when you saw, obviously, Beautifully written. But when you yeah. saw the script, it did you think, I have to do this? Yeah, within the first page. And then it carried on getting better and better. I mean, not that it sort of needed to get better. It was just brilliant. <laughs> and then it was brillianter and brillianter and brillianter. But she was an interesting woman because she... If, if a man had behaved the way she behaved, that would have been fine. I that would have been did. the way they behaved. I think many men behaved Absolutely. like they did, but they, she, they didn't get sacked. No, they didn't. And that was no. the, what I loved about her was, everybody was saying to her when she got axed, you know, you, it's your decision. Do, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm, yeah, fine. And then she just went out and went, I've been fired! <laughs> <laughs> I have been one. sacked. Wasn't that yeah. great? Well, I love the fact that she didn't apologise for any of it. No! And a lot of other people might have been slightly embarrassed or feeling like they'd done something wrong, but no, she knew when she'd been treated badly. And what an amazing woman. I had no idea she was, like, the first woman to be on colour TV. She was the first woman to... Interview the Prime Interview Minister. Interview the Prime Minister. And television, you know, in a way, Lorraine, she was your trailblazer. She absolutely was. I because, thought that yeah. watching it, I thought, for goodness sake, if it wasn't for women like her, yeah. we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. She had a huge... Um, she sort of... In fact, they sent her off to America to learn about uh, broadcasting. Mm -hmm. at, with a view to creating a daytime show, particularly for women. So she did Lunchbox for how many years? Eight years, years or a something? decade, yes. Yeah, right. Be before, way before 
uh, crossroads. So she would have been like the Oprah Winfrey of her day. Absolutely. She was. Yeah. Yeah. She, was the the she was the Lorraine Kelly. She was the Lorraine. She was the Lorraine. Nolly is done with huge affection towards her. And I think that's that's really yes. important. I think well, a lot of people are saying to us, like, oh, we've got the wobbly walls of Crossroads. It's like, we're not there to take the mickey. No. It's like, no one did that on purpose. And they all worked hard. Everyone really behind hard. the scenes worked hard. And so we haven't come to mock. That's just too easy. It's, it's yeah. a lovely show. And then they had this mad... Mad storyline <laughs> about her going away in the QE2. It's yeah. all real. Everything yeah. you see in Nolly is true. Absolutely. Right. And, and the QE2 was going away, so they had to film it really quickly. And then <laughs> on, the to, on the they actual QE2. On the actual QE2. She had to go to, all the way to France and then come back. She was all on her own, she too. Oh, there was a lot of sadism, frankly. They really did want to get rid of her. Oh. And I think that's why she took it so personally, the way that well, I'm not they were going to get rid of her. She did. I'm not surprised that she did, but you, you did a proud. Absolutely did her proud. Thank you. Really, well, it was, she was such a phenomenal woman. You know, it's just such a... It was just beautifully written. Yeah. But also, sometimes when you, you meet someone on the page, you go like, oh, I hope a bit of them rubs off on me. Because she didn't have a family. Yeah. I think she embraced everybody who, she, who did connect with her. Well, it's so interesting, the, the, the girl playing her, her daughter called her mum all the time. Yes. Yeah, Jane. She Washington. called her mummy all the no, time. She was. Yes, apparently yeah. they did. It's all true. Yes, 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 yes. Her and Meg Richardson were really interchangeable. And she just really insanely couldn't understand why 10,000 people couldn't turn up at her wedding, even though she only had a motel with 16 chalets. Now, look, can I talk to you about Doctor Who as well? You cheeky woman. What's she going to say? Are you going to be... No, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say anything. Try and get some secrets out of me, No, I'm... I'm <laughs> only, oh, oh, no. Do you best. So she's staring at me. Because I... I'll tell you anything. <laughs> All I was going to say was, I have been sitting by the phone, because you did say the last time that we met on the red carpet, that maybe there might be a tiny, small cameo... For you? In Doctor Who, maybe. Come on, then oh, God, your agent demanded ten million pounds. <laughs> oh, that it happens to me all the time. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, You're it's just too top no, rank. I can't. Seriously, cannot wait for that. That's this week looking amazing I love that hair music legend Shania Twain is right here there she is back with new music have a look at this oh, I bet you do we all just want to know <laughs> is that why not I guess just <laughs> feeling really comfortable in my own skin sure it took me a while yeah you yeah. know I wish I'd gotten there sooner mm -hmm. earlier in my life but you know Better now, you know, better now than never. It seems that, that, that things are great. We know how tough it's been for you. I mean, that whole, when you had Lyme's disease, which was awful, and there was a time you thought, maybe you might not be able to sing again, which yeah, would have been, yeah. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah, it was, it was, it was quite depressing. I'm sure. Um, you know, devastating to imagine that I would never sing again. Even speaking really has, you know, always been um, difficult with the Lyme's disease, sure. but... Oh, I'm just feeling so grateful that <laughs> I can finally, you know, I know. Uh, sing and express myself. And, you know, uh, this will be the first album since my uh, operation on right. my voice. And you were awake while they were doing that? Yes, you? you have to be awake for this operation. Well, oh, that must have been really scary. You know what, though? I was more afraid of never singing again than whatever it took to get through that operation. Exactly. Recovery. So, you know, I just... Chose the lesser of the two fears, yes, I guess. Yes. <laughs> and how amazing and that you were able to sing. Because they, they said to you, right, OK, we need to hear you singing after the operation, just to make sure. Well, the reason you have okay. to be awake for it is so you can sing during the operation. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have to be able to see your um, your larynx wow, in action. And the vocal your, cords and all that? Yes. Jeez. Yes, so. That is incredible, You isn't have it? to speak and sing, and oh. uh, so they know exactly you know, what to and do. And in a way, it. sometimes when you nearly lose something, you, you relish it all the more. So I guess that's why you are, you can tell that you're having a ball now. You're having the best time. Well, this is my celebration album. Yeah. You know, and celebration of music, um, being happy, putting myself in a, in a great spirit and Jeez. sharing that spirit with everybody. You no, know? exactly. Big tours happening in uh, yes. April. Is that, going to, is that in America, first of all, and then you're going to come over here? Yes. Right. That will be the order of yes. things. Um, so there's a big tour in the US. I mean, you're doing the Hollywood Bowl. You're doing all these amazing, iconic places. Yes, in Canada, of course, of my course, home country. And, of course. and I'll be here, which is very exciting. I know, we're looking forward to that. You're going to be Dublin, Manchester, Birmingham, I think, Leeds and London. So we can go see there. And is it just going to be, it's going to be all the songs that we know and we love? 
of course. Yes, I'm going to As well include... as all the new things. Well, you know, like there's a warning, there's like a language warning on this one. I would put a warning on, on a tour ticket if I wasn't going to do the classics. <laughs> I, would prepare the, I would prepare everyone in advance. Um, but of course, I will do the classics. And I'll, you know, have new songs off Queen of Me and um, it'll just be a fun dance sing along. Oh, it'll be, and again, it'll be, it'll be a celebration of you. It really will. You look like you're having a great time. The Grammys love the hair. I'm just yeah. having so much fun with all the colour and the and the shapes. Look oh my gosh, I had that. so much fun. That is one. You do like... It makes a, me laugh. You do like a bit of animal print. I do. I know, but I'm not sure what that is. If it's cow or giraffe it or matter. what do you think? It doesn't matter. It's fabulous. I mean, look at some of this. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. You really do rock it. It is absolutely fantastic. It's really good. I love how you change the lyrics on your song. You know that don't impress me much. when they, Obviously, it's Brad Pitt. But then when Ryan Reynolds was there, who was... Isn't it was great? time for Brad Pitt to share. He has to share. You know, and Ryan, Ren Ryan Reynolds is a Canadian. Of course. So I wanted to give him, uh, you know, a little nod there. And he was a recipient that night as well at the People's Choice. Of course. So I, you know, I just <laughs> gave Brad Pitt a break there. But now, two of Hollywood's biggest stars, Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher, have teamed up for a brand new romantic comedy just in time for Valentine's Day. And Ross King, of course, sat down with them in LA. I hate to start off with the negative, but I've got to say, I absolutely hated the fact that you both look the same. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> Stop it. Did we? I don't know. We look a little older. Then we had to do a sequence where we were 20. Yeah, where we were 20. And I was like, how many filters does this camera have? <laughs> Because I'm going to need an Instagram filter. I, but here, so here's the crazy thing is we, before we shot the sequence when I was 20, I was like, I didn't, I didn't have this much chest hair when I was 20. <laughs> and I'm like, I actually need to like mow this thing down a little bit and like clean it up. And I'm like, dude, sit ups. And I'm like, God, I used to have hair when I was 20. What happened? <laughs> The time this comes out, it'd be, it'd be Valentine's Day, close to Valentine's Day. Yeah, this is a perfect Valentine's Day movie. And it's only one hour, 49 minutes. I know, Thank you can watch you. it before the Super Bowl and after the Super Bowl, too. This is a snuggle up and watch the film. Yeah, Valentine's. and I've watched it with guys and girls. Everybody loves it. Yeah. It's really just a crowd pleaser. Yeah, it's nice as well to get a nice movie like this at the moment, isn't it? I think it's like we need oh a little gosh, bit of a hug. It's like a breath of fresh air. And I think, you know, it's important that it's not about darkness. I think there's a lot of darkness in the world, and this mm. is just very, very light. Mila and I searched every single streamer for this movie mm. during the pandemic. Yeah. Like going like, where is the new, that, like, this is what, and, and then, and then, uh, now, now, now it will exist. Yeah. The morning show. Can we talk just a little bit? Yeah. Hint of romances. A lot of romances. It's a lot so of romance. Do you want to hear about I've it? I've heard all about it. I've told him oh, everything. You oh, you've told him everything? I wasn't I supposed everything. to. I'm sorry, Apple. I told him everything. <laughs> Tell me more then. Oh. John, John, John Hamm. John, John Hamm and Jennifer Hamm. Hamm. I'm not talking about John Hamm. John Hamm and Jennifer Hamm. John Hamm and Jennifer Hamm. It's so good. There's so much romance. There's so much drama. I can't wait for people to see the season. It's really good. And you're branching out into the UK as well. Yeah. Your production company. Breaking, yeah. Breaking it. Your first yes. with Stacey Solomon. Yes, that's right. We love her. Yeah, unscripted and just getting over there and making some great shows about home makeovers and remodeling. And it's been really fun. Yeah. How do you actually find time? I know we kind of joked about it, but again, being mom, being dad, I mean, the to-do list, we saw that, which was fun on, <laughs> on Instagram. But I mean, do you actually sit down and go, this is really what I have to do? Yeah, I have to prioritize, but I have really great people around me who help mm -hmm. me, you know, and so I could not do any of this without the team that I have because mm -hmm. they make me look good. <laughs> They're doing all the hard work behind the scenes and I'm over here getting a lot of the credit, but yeah. it's really a team of amazing people. Yeah. Time is time. And, things, and so if you don't have some level of discipline and rigidity to how you approach things and, and very clear priorities, you won't get anything done. So I imagine Reese's schedule looks like mine and I'm, I'm not free until after March. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations both. Lovely movie. Well done in the chest here. And uh, let's hope it never grows back. back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Really wow. Hey, enough. Thank you no, so well. much for seeing the movie and being so complimentary. We love it. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I think that film might be my new fave. Uh, Your Place or Mine is on Netflix from today.